This Chicago Do's and Don'ts by Fairplay2333. If your barber say, which one of y'all got next? Don't be sitting there acting scared to say you got next for a haircut. One, pick a barber shop that fits your personality. If you mild-mannered, you might want to go to a super cut. If you want to have some good back and forth debates, but you don't want no real problems, you might want to go to one of the old heads. If you want to hear drill music, if you want to smoke weed out front, if you want to see the thick single baby mamas come through, you got to get you a hood barber. But understand, anything can happen at any moment while you're here. Two, if you got a face card for street activities, you can't be dangling in the barber shop. What you want to do is pay that little extra money so the barber can come to the hood and get you right. Three, if your barber off anything other than weed, don't let him I cut high all the time. You might end up looking like Boosie when he saw his twin. End up looking like somebody about to go skiing on your head. Looking like you let your four-year-old cousin play in your head. The barber might yank your line into the back of your neck. Four, tell him exactly what type of cut you want because you still gonna have to pay him bad cut or not. Five, if your barber's chair is at the front of the shop, you gotta set your appointment early as possible Go in for your appointment and get out of there. Don't be dangling by the front, playing in the shop, and you know you got a face card in the streets and possibly get somebody else hurt. Thing about money, man, it's so fucking crazy, man. It'll change people, man. It'll have baby mamas out here putting you on child support, man. It'll have your mama telling you not to do it. Then the next week, man, she telling you, oh, I need half on the rent. Man, it'll make kill their brother. They blew up with their whole life, man. For the fucking blue bills, bro. Kill they brother, they blew up with their whole life, man. For the fucking blue bills, bro.